start your journey. Skin selection, level selection options. So the cool thing about this is it was made by one dude. Yeah, so you told me that. What well, was a special thing, so I guess other people might have helped in the music and whatnot, but mostly I think it was one dude's passion project over the... So he made it in like Once 2020. Upon a time, oh, here we go. The great Arkansas Kingdom. The world lived in peace and coexistence between the humans, the animals, the birds, even the cute little bunny rabbits. It was an age of prosperity without anything to fear of Who's war, that voice? Is that famine, the maker? Catastrophe. No idea. It was so very boring. So <laughs> boring, in fact, that even the devil himself was bored brainless. The devil dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence, suffering on a cosmic scale. So, he devised a plan to make things in Arkansas a little more I do love this. The premise. devil unleashed the curse of the eternal night. A powerful spell that conjured mindless, soulless, heartless monsters across the world. The monsters lay waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse, and backwater town in the kingdom. It was beautiful, but for some reason, the humans quite enjoyed this save boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. So, they called upon their champion. Mighty wizard. A sorcerer with the skill and intellect to break the curse and usurp the devil's power. The wizard departed his luxurious tower and his studies to find the Big power of wizards to that are break the curse. Completely hidden under cloaks except for glowing eyes. Like, uh, uh, like the Black Mage in Final Fantasy. He's very much like the Black Mage from Final Fantasy. It's always a good design. Like the kind of design that, like, Jawas have. He called upon a champion of his own. I do love the Devil's design. History's greatest trickster and con artist. Banished to wander the world as a wayward spirit. The devil crammed Jack's soul into the skin of a pumpkin and made him a deal. The devil would forgive Jack's past misdeeds and grant him passage to the afterlife. And in return, he gave Jack one simple mission. Fuck shit up. The wizard oh. And destroy him. So, um, Jack, this is Jack the Giant Slayer. Yeah, he's, Jack a, he's, the old, he's, he's old the Jacks. Yep. yep, Jack Horner. Well, they're they're more focused on the stingy Jack bit, though. So, yeah. I mean, it's still all the same Jack. Fair right? enough. Th that, like, that's it, the myth, I believe. Yeah, like right. in fairy tales, it's all like every Jack is Jack Horner. So funny enough, they keep track of how many times you've died in this game. So I'm gonna Ooh. try to avoid dying as much as I can. Nice. Yeah. Does that like, affect the ending? No, I don't think so, but it does rub it in your face. Like, this is how many times the world was saved, this sort of ordeal. Uh. This looks like it's doing fine as is, but he still needs me to get rid of some pesky wizard. You know who my favorite Jack is? But that's uh, the question. What kind of wizard? Okay, never mind. <laughs> you, you know who my favorite Jack is? Um, the one from Billy and Mandy. Oh, uh, yes, that one. Yeah, Jack of the Lanterns. I, the, I need uh, to watch one... that again. Oh, hello, it's a Owl. Really good. Woohoo! Look who bothered to show up! Do you want to voice Jack? Uh, you voice Jack. Okay, do you want to voice the, the Owl then? Sure. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I trust you having already lost your brain in that gourd. <laughs> Grown men have died for less than that bird. Then, tardy and insubordinate. Not amazing for his impression, Jack. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm very wise. I'm a servant of the devil and here to monitor your work. 
I'm the devil's eyes, and he's not forgotten about. It's your penchant for trickery. He doesn't trust you. Just don't slow me down. I haven't forgotten how to roast a chicken. <laughs> Just remember who gave you your fancy new body. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Orientation? What kind of fool do you take me for? The kind has been centuries in corporeality. Oh, stop dwindling. It's time you get acquainted with your new form. Doddling. Oh, doddling? Actually, right I'm, I'm, you said dwindling? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to decrease the uh, music a bit. I'm going to decrease the sound effects a bit. Uh, cinematic. Oh. There we go. About half noise. Oh, it's good. Yeah, so they're just going to make me do platforming for a bit until they decide they want me to do combat. This game doesn't have a double jump. Oh, it has a, it has a pretty... Okay, it has a pretty lazy double jump. Can he still jump when uh, you're falling? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it's... But what I mean is it's lazy in the sense of, like... Doesn't do much? No, it, it's a pretty good double jump. What I mean is it's lazy in that he just sort of waggles his feet. It doesn't really feel like he's doing, uh, like, a somersault or anything. Oh. Uh, lazy in the animation. Yeah. I mean, Jack and Daxter, which is a much bigger budget game, has even less of animation on this. It's not like Ratchet and Clank, my favorite game of all time, where they have um some really cool effects going on there. My favorite double jump is... um. Uh, oh, dang it. Yeah, I, I, I don't... Uh, I think that a game that had a really good double jump was uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Because the double jump, like, was Kazooie flapping her wings. That, that works. Yeah, this is a pretty decent double jump. It's actually, like, legitimately a good one. But visually, it's kind of unimpressive. What's that skull? A bird skull? Yeah, you collect bird skulls, and that's how you can buy uh, collectibles. Oh. Since they've got... Oh, they have extra skins that you can buy um, in the, at, at certain checkpoints. Yeah, they, they give me this... Um... Oh, I think I almost died. Thank goodness. This is you. Oh, oh, not so, not bad so far, Jack. You've shaken off those cobwebs well. It does feel good to have my own body again. Arms, legs, everything. Even, uh... Well, you really put them to the test here. There will be monsters up ahead. You shouldn't have any trouble fighting them off. Well, I've never been one to turn down a chance to bash some heads in. Just ask the giants. But why should they attack me? Has nobody told them I'm on their side? No, you can't be told anything. They're monsters. Mostly mindless miscreants. Like you. They can barely tell each other apart, let alone something like you. But I'm gonna deny you're still human. That alone makes you a target. So then why does the devil... So, <clears throat> so that's why the devil needs me. He needs someone who can think like a man. This new enemy is clever. Jack, he just needs someone just as clever. I see, and he doesn't mind that I'm cutting down his monsters. No, please, we have more at home. They're practically worthless. Do what you must, just get the job done. Okay, I, I remember a brand new, but I got an achievement, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, they added achievements recently. They didn't have achievements in, when I played this originally. Wow. Yeah, so this game got like a major overhaul uh, last... So this game came out in October of last year, but they got a major overhaul along with achievements and uh, extra skins and levels, I believe, uh, sometime around Christmas. So that was... So I missed out on all those uh, updates. Until Hello, now. bird. Uh, uh, you want me to voice this one? Yeah, sure. He, he has, like, a lot of dialogue, too, so. Okay. 
<clears throat> it's back. Flap away, everyone. Flap for your lives. Actually, choose a voice that's not gonna make you feel like you're choking on your that, words. That doesn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. More birds. Let me through before I pluck you all raw. Get away from us, Scarecrow. I've got claws and I can use them. Me, a common Scarecrow? I am Jack, the greatest rogue to ever live. Check my stats. I've got a plus 20 in disguise alone. <laughs> He's got legs. Scarecrows don't have legs. They have turnips for heads. His head isn't even stuffed with straw. See? I'm no Scarecrow. Now let me through, you corvid creeps. Yeah, not so fast. Seems like the birds have an upper hand for once. We'll let you through, Mr. Jack, if you help us in return. At the mercy of a crow, what do you want? The scarecrow often appears in the barn just ahead. He's been terrorizing us for weeks. He's a menace to crow kind. And I suppose you want me to get rid of him? Yes, yes. I'll help you boot to boot. My wings are swift and my beak is sharp. And my dress style is sharper. Hmm. Some air support could be useful. Very well, bird. <laughs> Death to the straw face menace. Let's go. I think this is my first combat utility. It's, uh, I get to throw the bird at people. Interesting. You gonna flip him the bird? No, I throw the bird. You know, yeah. New checkpoint! Yeah, I can only throw it at targets that are, like, sick. I don't have a melee ability yet. A shovel. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can take these guys out first before I get out of the shovel. Why is that gonna be an achievement, probably? No. It's mostly it's rust. Mostly oh. rust but the, any weapon is better than none. So this game does have one thing that I'm kind of disappointed in. It's that all the uh, main weapons are pretty much just the exact same. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Yeah, so there really is no reason to get like attached to like one particular weapon. Uh, some are just better than others. But you get them as like you level up as you go through the game anyway. So it's not like you're actually fighting for something superior each time. Yeah. You know what game had a really good weapon selection? Even though it, it only had like five weapons total in the game, each weapon felt like tangibly felt different. Oh, what was it? Uh, Death's Door. Oh, yes. We played that one. Yes. That was really good weapons. Like, the, the ones that hit harder also felt like they Lower. felt slower but also more impactful um the ones that uh were faster uh felt smoother okay. that's why I, towards the end i enjoyed the uh daggers okay admittedly this game's platforming isn't perfect because jack is like very heavy forward momentum when you're jumping so it's kind of hard to change course real quick but, like, on a scale, like, 1 to 10, that is, like, very low on the, uh, on the obnoxious... Oh, shoot, I forgot. Fire hurts you. Oh, what about a shocker? I never thought a fire would hurt a scarecrow. I mean, he's not a scarecrow. Yeah, so if you beat all the enemies in an area, you can grab the items in it. Because occasionally they have, like, an item you can only get if you beat up all the enemies in an area. Just to make sure you're not running past all the obstacles. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I like the atmosphere. Oh, this game I is really... amazing atmosphere. Yeah, I really like this aesthetic. Like, it's a fine blend of cartoony and... Like, it's the same kind of aesthetic that, like... Fortnite is where it feels like cartoony but not overly so. Fair enough. I I like to think of it more as a um 
Night Before Christmas kind of vibe. Like, I could see these environments in Nightmare Before Christmas, you know? Eh, not enough swirls and black and white stripes. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, More like Coraline, maybe? Right. Yeah, I could absolutely see. Actually, there is a Coraline game. Let me see what its uh, aesthetic looks like. There's a Coraline video game? That sounds so yeah, wrong. Yeah, PlayStation 2. Yeah, it doesn't look too far off. There's a Coraline game on the PS2? When did that come yeah, out? Uh, when did it come out? I have a physical copy right here. When did it come out? Let's see if that manual says... You have a physical copy of a Coraline video game? <laughs> it's my roommate's. Oh, okay. That He's sounds so that, uh... weird. Coraline... I mean, I get why it might it must exist, but like at the same time, I'm like... Really? <laughs> Some of the pages are stuck together just because of how old it is. When did this come out? You could just Google when the movie came out. I refuse to do that when I have a physical copy here. Of the DVD? No! The game! <laughs> the game! That's so weird. I'm still, I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around that. That seems like the exact thing you wouldn't want to make a game out of. 2009. Oh yeah, they would have still been nope. Yeah, on the PS2. Yeah, must have been a budget game. Oh, you can here's some swirls. Exactly, this is very Tim Burton esque. Yeah, it came out for the Wii, the PlayStation 2, and the Nintendo DS. Okay, that makes sense. It was a budget title. And because it came yeah. out on the Wii, they just made a version to put on the PS2. Okay. Yeah. Because the, the last PlayStation 2 game came out, like, last year, I think. They're always it's... budget titles. I wonder... I wonder if we could stream it. The Coraline video game? Yeah. There's probably a ROM of it somewhere for a Caribbean PlayStation 2. I have, I have a physical copy. <laughs> Fair enough. Also, PlayStation games aren't ROMs, they're ISOs. Oh, yeah. Perhaps your new body is needed here. Now, out for a minute and look inside. Up out of my body? Of course, your new body is just a shell. You can always use your head. <laughs> what? You mean you can get out of that thing? Yeah, <laughs> disgusting. Cram it, bird. Drop to it, Jack. Drop your body and head inside. <laughs> oh, so it's like medieval in that sense. Oh, a little. I do like how they have how they do this. Let's Just hope it actually works. Oh god. It it's does like work. Just think, because you remember medieval. It just using the head just did not work. It worked. The problem is it was just wasn't very fun. No, I mean when you put your head in the thing. Oh yes, I remember it. that. That 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 thing, okay. You can kind of tell the jumping has like a lot of forward momentum to it since you can't change direction when you're after you jump. That's lame. So there's no strafe jumping? Not really. That's you. Oh. Ben says me. Crash Boondicoot. Of course. <laughs> That's. What it that was an achievement. What, that just what up. was Crash Bone to Coot? 
taken, they had to do a crash boot in the coot. Okay, so if you, so there's a lot more ways to gain health than just these pots. You can just break up stuff in the environment. Oh, but nice. they take away like a lot of the destructibles later in the game just to make sure oh. you're still using the health ounce. Oh. I'm always a fan of destructible environments. Yeah. Boom. Let me shovel it to you. Oh, man. You could say that this is just a bunch of shovelware. Uh-huh. Let me dig you a grave. I'm not very good at these. You know what uh, shovelware game we should definitely try to play at some point? Oh, uh, what kind? Trixie and Toyland. Mm. I, I, think you, I think you've talked about that. Anubis 2? <laughs> We could do like four separate streams of the same of uh, each of those. <laughs> See how fa much faster we can do each time. Yeah. Uh. God, I. I <laughs> actually enjoy bad video games. I, I agree. Bad video games can be their own sort of fun. I guess it depends on the kind of bad. Like, if it's a boring kind of bad where you're like, oh, oh I've yeah. seen this before, it's derivative. Sort of. Oh, that's yeah. never as fun as, like, oh, this is somebody's dream project, but it's also a point and click adventure that tries to mix in uh, Batman Arkham Asylum style combat. <laughs> what the fuck? That actually doesn't sound too bad. You could easily make a Sherlock Holmes game like that. There is a Sherlock Holmes game like that. There which is? is actually pretty good, I think. Then why did you. <laughs> That just proves my point that it be it is not nearly as bad of an idea. You know, I, I do have it. Out. It's uh, Devil's Daughter, I believe. I don't think it has that... like Batman Arkham Asylum combat, but it does have point-and-click stuff. Well, yeah, I know there's a, a, a point-and-click uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes game. It's the one with the teleporting Watson. Same developer, too. Yeah. But uh, what I mean is like a, a point-and-click style... Uh, game that has uh, Arkham uh, combat, which is honestly really simple. That is simple. The combat in Arkham Asylum isn't too different from the combat in uh, like Assassin's Creed. Well, the, well, the problem is, I believe uh, the exact method of how it's done in Arkham As Asylum and whatnot is copyrighted. Yeah, but I mean like Having a, a, a combat system that is just, you can, you have a light attack and a heavy attack and a counter. Like That's that, fair. that that would be easy. That's fair. Uh, hmm. How do I get out of here? Oh, shoot. Magic. Oh, God, there's so much fire. Fire everywhere. Like, yeah. Everything on fire. Oh. I don't know. Everything's burning. Everything's on fire. Do you smell smoke? We get a slap out of here, Jack. Come on, slap, Oh, this, Jack. this is fun. I love this Rent. bit. It's collapsing. Oh, man, I'm always a fan of running out of collapsing buildings like that. Ooh, collectible. Just to fuck with me. You know you want it. I know. This is actually very well designed. This is like the first, this was the demo level they showed off, actually. You know, that would be a really good demo level then. Yeah. Very, very tense. It's really good at capturing. It's a very uh, big barn. It is absurdly big. What the hell? Why did they have mine tracks? Maybe it goes into a mine? Was it built into a mine? I don't know. Maybe. I do Is know I that... almost failed that last jump if I hadn't double jumped and gone and jumped into the platform behind it. Is uh 
Uh, is it like over a open pit to hell? Maybe. Who knows? Oh no! There we go. There it goes into a mine sh shaft. Who builds a barn into a mine? Maybe somebody needs a lot of space. Yeah. I destroyed this entire barn, and I still didn't kill the scarecrow. Ah oh, man, what a dick! Just light him on fire. Jack's kind of bad at his job if he's if he destroys everything but the one guy he's out there to kill. Yeah. I mean, because his duty is just to cause havoc and kill the wizard. Yeah. So, and, uh, nothing really. Dang, I oh, missed two collectibles. Where are they? Oh, uh, they're. This is the this is the boss. So I have no idea. Oh God, I love that. Who goes there? Show yourself. There he is. Ah, he's menacing as always. He's just standing there. Don't be so craven. It's just a bog standard scarecrow standing there menacingly. Hey, my cousin is a raven. Did he see me? Please tell me he didn't see me. Aha! Well, look who's here! Back for more fun, little birdie! Yeah, he saw me! Stop wetting yourself! As for you, it's time you hopped away! Hey, I heard you skulking around, Jack. You, we dim-witted monsters not cutting it for the old man. Hmm. I have my own business, Scarecrow. If you don't get out of my way, I wouldn't mind turning you into kindling. The devil has the gall to send some wayward soul to do our jobs for us. Well, we'll show him all you humans are good for, living or dead. I'll bury you again, you wretch! Go bother a bat, Scarecrow. Oh, oh that's... It. Oh. Is that basically it? Just oh. dodge the shockwaves. Oh. Yeah, he's a mook boss. <laughs> oh. That kind of... Oh. Not well, a fan of mook bosses. Well, it, it's more like it just separates the waves. Uh, this oh. boss is pretty good, actually. Eh, guess that's fair. It's fairly simple. As I said, it's made by one person. So. At least the combat's more in depth than the um, Nightmare on no Nightmare Before Christmas fighting game. Actually, I don't even think it's more in depth than that. I think that's actually more in depth. Ooh, I like, like the Nightmare on uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. It, it's uh, it's quite funny, I admit. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a good semi sequel to Stingy the movie. Jack, the genius trickster who could fool even the devil himself has returned to the mortal realm. Armed with a brand new body and his soul truly bound to his festering pumpkin, Jack has been joined by his choice guides, the owls, and commandeered the services of a cowardly crow to fight on his behalf. But there must be no more time for fun and games. Jack and his Ooh. companions of the night will embark upon I do love the way they set this story up, moving from like table to table. I almost filled my drink. <laughs> uh, so I got a... Uh... Jesus Christ. A powerful I secret. Got... Um, I got an external hard drive today. Oh, yeah. You, you mess messaged me about that. I can't go backwards. No. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just transferring my, uh, oh, all my so... art. So, so just to prove a point... The shovel is no different from the spear. That looks pretty different. It's not too different. They both do the same amount of damage. Oh, you mean that sense. Yeah. Now, there's a little difference, but it's not like you have any real reason to swap them out. Oh, here we are. Man, not a second behind the schedule. What is this place? 
These are the old minds burning with power. The devil's belief that deep down, uh, the devil's belief that deep down these tunnels lies the key to our enemy's plot. So we're here to take it first and get the drop on whoever's looking for it. <laughs> this place gives me the willies. Remind me why I'm still here again? Because you're still useful to me. You're my left trigger button. And I'll pummel you if you even try to flap away. Oh, this old mine equipment is rusted to bits. But these tunnels are solid. Now to it, Jack. You can definitely tell it's one guy because the rig is just all sort of squishy. Yeah. Which isn't I bad. Think it... Okay, you know what? I, I finally figured out what this aesthetic reminds me of. The Team Fortress 2 Halloween stuff. That's what the environment kind of reminds me of. You know what? Fair. This feels it's like a... This feels... Well, fair enough. You know, this feels like if they made a Billion Mandy game, this is what it would look like. Yes, you remember that Billy and Mandy game that was on Cartoon Network dot com? Uh, that was about uh, Jack O' Lantern. Yes, I recall that. That was ah, such fuck. a good, nice. Didn't didn't it, wasn't it like a Castlevania like where they would where you swapped out weapons by uh, swapping out characters? No, I think it was you oh. found different weapons and you used those for a bit, and they're like uh, then it's like Castlevania type weapons. Maybe. It's been so long, and I think it was a Flash game, so we can't play it again unless it was an archive. Probably. I, I, th I think a lot of Flash games are archived. Yeah. Harem Scarum. Why are we talking about harems? Yeah, so I got like a single ranged attack, which is the bird, which is kind of neat. But it doesn't mix into combo as well, so you have there isn't really a combo system in this game. You know? Yeah. So you just sort of run up to something and hammer away at it. Which isn't a bad combat system. This is definitely a budget game made by one dude over a year. Because I think this was like his COVID project, like he went out and learned how to make video games while he was locked in his house. God, I wish I could have done that, but I didn't get a chance to be locked in my house because I was an essential worker. Yeah, I, I get that. <sighs> I like the owl checkpoints me pretty frequently. Yeah. Good checkpoints are always good. You remember that really stupid David Cage quote he made when uh, he did Beyond Two Souls? I do not recall. Uh, it was, game overs are a failure of a game designer. Mm. Well, you're ready for some cardio, Jack. You'll have to blow up these rocks away with. This. Yep, I gotta shove my head down there. Yep, you'll have to be nimble and quick. So, I think a game over is more a failure of a storyteller. Uh, so, I, I do want to emphasize, I think in general it's very stupid to say that you can't have a single narrative with many fail-safes. But, like, at the same time, I definitely feel... Games like uh, Dark Souls handle the whole idea of a narrative fail safe better than anything Davy Cage has ever done. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, none two... of the none of the choices in Beyond Two Souls actually matter. No way. I will say this: there is no. one game Davy Cage made where the death fail safe actually felt meaningful. Is it the Origami Killer one? Yes. Okay, well, that's the only one that he's made that, on a surface, it, it seems good. Because, uh, like, I say on a surface because if you actually think about it more than, like, a, uh, more than a 
couple minutes, it becomes really kind of dumb. Uh, so I mean, the story, I mean, is kind of dumb. But, like, the idea that if a character dies in a uh, combat scenario, they remain dead is pretty well done. Yes. There's actually uh, an achievement where if you manage to kill all the other characters and get away scot-free with the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. God. Uh, the what game was that, for, or what system was that for, anyways? PS3. A heavy rain. Right, right. So, so here's an interesting thing about Heavy Rain. The demo yes, yes. they showed off for the game was not actually in the game ever. Because for whatever reason, they they made this entire demo concept where you would sneak into somebody's house and had to. Uh, find evidence they were like killing people and then for whatever reason they just left it out of the game proper did they add that back in as dlc yes they did oh okay i think they uh, did yeah i i can i can i i have a lot of negative things to say about david cage but i can respect a demo ending up not being in a game a demo is just to showcase like the kind of game it is and what kind of features it will have that's that's what a demo is meant to do no 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 jack i know what you're thinking i could use this mine cart to go out get out of here faster or if this emo canary doesn't cram a worm in it i'll use him for pillow stuffing if you go anywhere in that old cart you'll kill us all except for me i can fly i fail to recall when you are calling the shots Excuse It'll you, take I'm more than this rusty old. It'll take more than this rusty old sardine tray to do me in. Yeah, malfeasance is going in your report. Jack, you madman! Let's go. I, I, think, I think they were to, They were trying to start the cutscene again. <laughs> All right. Go I'm for gonna, a drive. Heal for heal first. All right, let's do this. I uh. Yeah, uh, someone in the chat said, if you want a game, Indigo Prophecy is the game. Yeah, no, we've, we've played Indigo Prophecy before. That is actually a shitty game that I do enjoy. We we played Indigo Prophecy? Uh, not... I have. Have you? No. We haven't on stream. Uh, I was gonna bring up Indigo Prophecy, uh, before the cutscene. Um, I kind of want to play indigo prophecy i, I want to add it to the list okay that's the weird one where the ending is the kid is a psychic super genius right yes who doesn't have a soul yeah i i i've heard about that that's also the one where like the opening is you have to hide a murder body yes yes no, it, no. Uh, oh thank god i thought i fucked it up right uh, too early yeah. It has a, it has the dumbest plot ever. It ends with a matrix fight, or not ends, but it has a matrix fight against a helicopter, uh, while the character is a zombie. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's uh, really stupid. But out of all the ga David Cage games, I'd say that's the only one that I actually enjoyed playing. I did it in one go. Nice. Nice. Uh, I actually wonder if I can get through this entire game without dying once, just to show that wizard what for. You haven't died yet. Well, yeah, that's fair. Oh, uh, man. But admittedly, Is... I really did like the demo of this game when it came out, so... Well, that's good. I mean, I do love me a good spooky, scary Halloween game. Yeah. I wish I had the time to make a game. But I uh, somehow I have learned even less about Blender. Oof. In that, like, I've made, like, three models total with... Uh, uh, I made zero. I made one model with Blunder, which was a sword, just just to learn how to make a sword. <laughs> the I, uh, I, I, I just remember my favorite part of Indigo Prophecy. It's uh, whenever 
like the guys having hallucinations about the bugs while being interrogated and if you do the qte properly he like freaks out and gets rid of the bugs but if you don't do it properly he has no reaction to them whatsoever no <laughs> that uh, is silly god we should play indigo prophecy at some point that could be fun uh i think i'm going to be doing like medieval and some other uh games right. to finish off first because i did start a few that i think people would like to see more of yes yes and uh i uh and we're gonna be playing gauntlet on saturdays um oh yeah so that, that we gotta do first i i got quark he's he's invested uh hell yeah because he he can't do mondays so no he, he can do mondays to some degree yeah. Well, Mondays I'm gonna be playing uh, uh, Four Swords Adventures with uh, Biddy. Uh, the game can't handle more than two players uh, on our Caribbean GameCube. That's fair. So, but we have tested Gauntlet and it does work with three players. So if we can get three, and if we can get uh, Jester on board, if not, we can. No, oh, no, because Biddy has. Uh, Biddy has. D&D uh, &D on Saturdays. We could try to see if... Uh, we see if... I could see if Rose wants to join. Mm, that could be fun. Yeah, I'll ask Rose. Yeah, I, well, I, I'm... No, no, first I'm gonna see if Jester's gonna be able to do it, then I'll ask Rose. Oh, what's that out there? That looks like another level. Or a, a continuation of the level you're on. No, oh, it's a continuation of the level, yeah. But there's yeah. something else very special out there that I want to get to. Is it more level? Oh, be besides more level. It's a collectible. Ooh, is it a new costume? No, it's not a new costume. I can buy those with using the uh, bird skulls I collect. Ah. Uh... This one is something a bit more... Spooky, scary. A gramophone. Oh hell yeah! Dances. Yep. See, see that dance. Big fan of this. I love everything about this, especially the falling bones. Okay, so there's, a, I think, one in every main level. So. I never found all of them. I don't think I ever will. Well, but there's uh, probably people for finding them all. Yeah, probably. What if there's a secret ending where you just beat the wizard with the dance party? Maybe. That could be funny. Ooh. Who's that? A lich? Oh! You must go no further. This place does not welcome you. Who dares turn me away? I'm Jack, mercenary of the devil himself. I am the guardian of this place and the power it contains. Heed this warning, Jack. If you do not leave willingly, you will be removed from here in a thousand pieces. Joke's on you, I'm only made of 158 bones. What, ha what happened to the other... Uh... Oh. 48 bones. Ah, those are... That, that's that's my dick we don't have. Haha, <laughs> funny. No, you said 158. And there's still 48 more bones. Yeah, that, that's the ones I'm missing. They're, they're all my dick bones. <laughs> the dick doesn't have any bones. Ah, uh -huh, but it, why is it called a boner? This has been Bad Jokes with uh, your host, Tom Man Wolf. That implies that there have been good jokes. <laughs> I have never told a good joke in my life, and I don't plan to start now. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna try to lead up to something, but I realized that's kind of tasteless, so I'm not gonna continue. Yeah. I, too, am not a fan of cannibalism jokes. Yeah. The only good one I've ever heard is the one from, um... The... 
Oh no, I'm trapped. This is a trick. <clears throat> Can't you make it? Okay, I can. Whoop! Ah! Oh, thank it's God. Fast. It looks like it looks like it's very floaty. With like, it looks almost like you'd be moving around with ice physics with how floaty it looks. Yeah, it, it's very floaty. You should really get to that hell. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, just make sure. I like it just takes a sip, like a big old swig of it. Yeah, eat your heart out, uh, uh, Dark Souls guy. All right, here we Gotta go. Plug down the entire class. Hell yeah. Let's see if I can do it again. I love the music. I, I agree. I really do like the music in this game. It's very whimsical. Yeah, and also Halloween-y. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I do love that they highlight in the environment with like these really deep reds all of the obstacles. So you know yeah. what you're facing and like what you need to do in advance. And without it, like, and it does it without like taking you out of uh, the immersion because it's ways that would make sense for the environment. You yeah. have the the lights from the mine. Ooh, that was a really good uh, spinning hallway. Yeah. Yeah, you have the lights from the mine. You have the melted, uh, the red hot melted track. Yeah, it's really good game design. This game has I like know, really good, great design, game design in general. And I like they know, slow you down just enough to make those uh, jumps easier. You know what game like tried to do stuff like that, but ended up not actually being that good because of just how at times it just did not make sense. Uh, what game? Uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, remember when they uh, highlighted all the places you could climb by putting something yellow on the ledge? Yes. But it ended up with like, oh, police take. Ooh, what are you buying? Wait, wait, don't hurt me. Eh? You can talk? Yeah, I'm not here to hurt you, sir. Are you sure? You look like a monster to me. Rotten, half-dead, soulless. Yeah, of course I am. I'm a salesman. <laughs> oh. Well, now I just want to kill you anyway. That's fair. But please, browse my wares first. What are you selling? Depends. What are you buying? Skins. I harvest the skins of interesting dead people for other people to wear. Clothes, too. Oh, right. Well, I won't kill you, but I want a discount. By all means. Please, take a look. Here's all the skins I can buy. There's the buzzard. There's the skeleton. There's the inspector. There's the um, samurai. I only have 29. Dang it, I can't get the skeleton just yet. One more and you can. There's the cowboy. There's the lumber. The pump king. That's my basic one. Yeah. The buzzard's my favorite because it's got like a... Uh, Save like it for a... the buzzard then. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to get... You only need 11. Fair enough. I can probably grab it by the next level, depending. Yeah. No, wait, I'll probably get it midway through the next level. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Because there's only about Ow. 20 per area. Oh, hey. Uh... The, um, God, I need to rewatch. I really need to rewatch that billion. I'm going to do that tonight after. Yeah, send me a link when you do, because I want to rewatch that, too. Are we going to check to see if it's on Netflix or anything? I don't think it will be. I don't think Netflix has that show. Well, I'm still going to check. Okay, that's fair. I love these bats. They have googly eyes. Uh, no, it doesn't. But it does have Invader Zim. That's fair. That's that's uh, the Florpus one, right? Uh, yes. You know what really reminds me of, um... Ooh! Be the second warning, Jack. For there will be no third. Turn back while you still can. I have nothing to fear of you, ghost. For your sake, Jack. 
I hope that's true. So, what was that thing Busy Pop made where uh, it's the spirit of Halloween and... Oh, and the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. That, that has a very similar design to, like, the Billy and Mandy designs for uh, Green Hill Jack. Uh, Holly Days. Yep, that's it. I haven't seen that I like yet. Those. I, but I've but I've seen seen the images, so I'm like, oh, that's neat. They slow me down for these sections in particular. Oh, uh, God, that's always the worst. I think I didn't fall there. Yeah, I, I I'm a big fan of the holidays uh, designs. The Christmas, I'm always a fan of like colorful demons. I've always been a fan of the uh, of personifications of holidays. Yes, it's why I particularly like Krampus more than I like uh, Saint Nick. Yeah, Krampus isn't a villain. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not the villain. Uh, a lot of people treat him as such because, he's, because it's very easy to make, like, Santa a good guy and take the uh, spooky goat man and make him the bad I, guy. I will say, I do... I I hate a lot of the stuff that Seth MacFarlane does. However, having Santa be the villain and Krampus being the hero in uh, American Dad, in the American Dad Christmas specials, uh, that was a good... I actually did like that. Wait, I didn't even know American Dad had a Christmas special. Yeah, no, uh, uh, Stan's, Stan, and it, uh, it turns out Stan's dad captured the Krampus, locked him in a cauldron, Stan, uh, releases it, um, and it tries to take revenge on, uh, Saint Nick, who is revealed to be the villain because he's spoiling kids and making them become assholes by I know refusing that. to punish them yeah no you keep going up no i think there's actually something i can do this way that makes this easier for me i think if i just leave this here i can actually get further ahead no no because the thing would be on the other side wouldn't it fair enough uh, yeah, it ends with uh, Stan's uh, dad sacrificing himself no, no, to kill. No. Dang it. At, least At least it wasn't the bomb a stays. Yeah. Uh, Stan's dad sacrifices himself to uh, kill Santa. Ah, here uh, we go. That was Krampus. my mistake. Uh, Krampus dies in the process, and Stan's dad becomes the new Krampus. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Like I said, I hate a lot of the Seth MacFarlane stuff, but that was actually a good episode. He's gone into voice acting recently, I think. He's been into voice acting. Well, I mean, like, he's more of a voice actor now than a content creator. So you see a lot of his works Ooh. in, like, a... Uh... No yeah. real penalty for failing, so I might as well just knock it off. We'll... Wait a minute. Oh, wait. You can do the thing. I just need to push it over here. <laughs> Dang it. Oh. Uh, what Seth Green's up to these days? Uh, for the I, think, I, think hour. I think he's still doing stuff related to Yu-Gi-Oh. Find out. Yeah. I mean, that dude's like my favorite actor in Yu-Gi-Oh. Is Seth Green? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I like Seth Green. Wait a minute. I feel like I've made a mistake here. Dang it. Oh, of course. 
He voiced Howard the Duck in uh, uh, Marvel What If. Oh, that's fair. He's uh, playing his character on Mass Effect. Uh, He's in Mass Effect? Yeah, he he plays the uh the the pilot. Oh. Yeah, the, the I, sarcastic pilot that uh has that shit talks to everyone. I only played the he Joker. I only played the second game. Yeah, he's in it. I I, I didn't bother playing the third one mostly because it, I heard it was the ending was bad and because I was well aware that I'd already killed the second my favorite character off in the second game. <laughs> yeah. I, I lost the robot, dude. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I put my trust in the wrong individual for the uh, final mission. Like, I was like, oh, okay. I, I have uh, three people who are willing to do the mission. One of which uh, doesn't trust me, but I actually like her a lot more than the other characters. It was an accident. Yeah. So, so there's one mission you you can do, but it's like the only way to end it peacefully is a paragon choice. And, and I wouldn't really have enough room. paragon. Uh, because I did the mission early on. <laughs> and it, it permanently locked me out of uh, getting the best relationship with this character I had spent the entire game up to that point snoo smoozing with. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so that I, hurt. Um, and then, like, I lost Legion because I tried to be like, okay, maybe if I put my trust in her, she won't fail me. Because she's really good at her job. Oh, anyway, Legion ends up dying. Because Legion was not a bad choice for that, apparently. That Legion was, like, the good choice for that mission, so. Yeah. Everybody else survived. Just Legion died. And I was like, uh I like Legion. That's fair. Um... Did you ever see the video of Austin Powers in Mass Effect? I have not. It is a really good edit. And it is fantastic. Oh, behave. I can't do an Austin yeah. Powers voice. No, behave. I, I, oh, I can't God, no, do... That was I... more Tim Curry. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, like, is that Tim Curry? <laughs> I freaking love Tim Curry, though. Like, legitimately. Dude's Oh, like... Absolutely. You know, it took me so long to realize that he was Nigel Thornberry. Okay, you know who... Re what I always think when I think of Tim Burton? Uh, no, um... Tim, Tim Curry? Curry? Yeah, uh, I always... Yeah, Rocky Horror? No, I always think of his appearance in Scooby-Doo. Yeah. He, he played he played the bad guy in uh, Witch's Ghost. Yes! Uh, uh, Ravencroft. Yes, Lord Ravencroft. Or Ben Ravencroft, actually. Yeah. God, I forgot about that. That Legit is a really good movie. That is a Scooby legitimately good movie. Scooby Doo had a lot of good movies. So apparently, Ooh. so apparently, oh, uh, Ben Sacrifice. Go no further. This is the end for you. You have passed the point of no return twice. I have warned uh, you, Jack. The point of no return. And yet, no I'm chances. still here. I'm still standing after all yeah. this time. <laughs> if if you want me gone, you'd better be prepared to throw me out. You want to throw down? Come I'll get me, down. Jack. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. <laughs> well, there's something you need to know about me. I am both nimble and quick. Okay, this is legit my least favorite boss fight in the game. Uh, mostly because, like, if you hadn't had done this boss fight, you could have beaten the game way earlier. <laughs> because while you're doing this boss fight, the wizard manages to steal the uh, the secret. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. No, wait, we're, we're gonna find that out anyway. Ah, oh, dang, that's a spoiler. No, it's fine. Uh, it's, 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 it's a spoiler for, like, the next five seconds, so I don't think people will mind too yeah. much. Watch out for those bombs! Boom! Ah, uh, there's something you weren't expecting about me, Mr. Ghost. Oh, shit. You're a giant, and I'm a giant slayer. You can't kill what's already dead. You know what this fight reminds me of? Uh, what? 
uh, the the old crow. Oh, fair from, enough. From uh, Death's Door. Because of the way he teleports in a line and telegraphs the line attack. But he doesn't use a chain, so... I, I think yeah. the old crow is a better visual boss fight in that case. Dang it. Yeah. There we go. The boss fights in this game aren't too tricky, uh, but this one gets a little trickier because he adds like a new pattern every time. Oh. So they get elaborate. Oh yeah, things are like overlapping, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, he's breaking apart platforms, see? Yeah. What is he, Killer Croc? Aha! Uh -huh. Batman. Topical. Uh, God. Killer Croc beats no. his own movie. Give I don't know music, what would music. happen. Oh, I had something in my eye. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, sure, Blin. Something in your eye. What would a Killer Croc movie be like? I can imagine, like, a TV show. Like, those are usually, yeah. like, simpler premises. Movies... There's this weird idea that movies need, like, a lot of stuff going on constantly. I, I yeah. think, like, a lot of DC villains are better fit for, um... TVs. For, like, TV shows than, uh, like, full-length oh, movies. Oh, you kill them. Yeah. Each boss is only, like, three phases. You know, a, uh, Netflix miniseries about Jack would be great. Oh, commendable display, Jack. That body of yours is proving its worth. I've been toppling brutes his size since I was a lad. Really? What an art did I feed, kid, where you grew up. Yes, well done. Now get a flap on, we're here for a reason. If I'm not mistaken, this mountain was once home to a powerful tribe of sorcerers. They must have left this tablet behind as their last testament. This is it? I came all this way for a big rock with some words on it? Not just the big rock. It's a tablet? Or an obelisk? It's not a tablet. It doesn't have a swipe screen. Well, oh, you haven't even tried touching it. Hmm. Darkest hours of man champion shall be summoned. Could you pick out the pace? Did you leave your glasses back in the nest or something? Ah, yes, I see now. The amulet of final ember. Who says... Uh, is it, just saying that makes me feel powerful. The last line is unreadable, but this man's champion needs that amulet to muster the power to dispel the devil's curse. Rocks and jewelry. This is turning out to be a pretty lame job. Man, I might be missing something, but where's the amulet supposed to be? Ah, well, it's just, uh, uh, huh. Hmm. What is it, bird? Where is the blasted thing? It's gone. Not rightly so. It's a magic sword. <laughs> yeah. God dang it. <laughs> I love magic swords. Ah, what the hell is that? Talking birds and now talking swords. Yeah, this is definitely a lame job. Actually, I know the perfect voice for the sword. Mm, I must say, this is peculiar. In case you hadn't noticed, this place is lousy for magic stuff. No wonder people have been tripping over themselves to swipe the <laughs> amulet. And you, you have a lot to answer for, charlatan. Oh, well, how dare you, oversized butter knife. If you call that mess of a fight I saw commendable, I thoroughly question your tutelage. You, gourd face, who are you? I am Jack, and I like you already. Well, get used to it. If you're going to fight, you'll learn to do it right. I will teach you. I, I missed the part where... Did you miss the part where the thing said we were too late? I, I think your voice is getting kind of slurry. You should try something else. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, did you miss the part? Okay. Ah, uh, someone took the amulet. 
Who? 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 Who are you? Take it easy. No need to yell the leather off my handle. Your friend came and took the amulet. I assume you distracted that fan awful phantom so he could get uh, here ahead of you. Our friend? Who's going to voice this guy? I'll voice the wizard. Oh Greetings! god, I love his design. Purple. Yes, he's pink. very purple. <laughs> Greetings! Ah. Ah. Yes, that chap. I'm guessing you don't know each other. Oh, I know more than enough now. So you are the pariah, the champion, the devil himself has sent for me. Frankly, I'm disappointed. Show yourself, you coward. I don't think so. I've already long gone. I only stuck around to study your fight with my associate in the mines. Very enlightening. You really do put on a show. I'll be more than happy to give you an encore when I rip that face off your skull. And I'll pry that amulet from your cold, dead hands. Well, see about that. For now, this bobble requires further study to access its power. Perhaps you should join me. We can study it together and break this piffling little curse. Oh, this guy gives me the creeps. Hmm. Left an innocent spirit to, complete, to be completely destroyed just to watch your fight. I may be evil and I may work for the devil, but you, sir are a jerk. You tall. Consider my proposal. There's so much more I want to study about you, Jack. That's it. This just got personal. Okay, so serious yeah, thing. There's nothing that pisses me off more <laughs> than when people <laughs> I don't know show up at work and just start using my name willy-nilly like they know me. Oh, God. I hate that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, like I'm like I'm at the job and they'll be like, "Hello, Connor. <laughs> Hello, person. Hello, Bob. The, uh, Hello, Billy." And I'm like, so "You don't." What know do me. you think for the uh, uh, robot voice for the sword? There is a reason I chose that voice. You and he will never be voiced again. It doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, th this sword is easily replaceable. Ah, uh, that's rough. Yeah, I replace him with a gun later, I think. God, I love the wizard's design. It's a very good design, like, legitimately. It's very the, simple. The designs in this game are top tier, like, legitimately fun stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the yeah. reason why is because, uh, whenever I think of talking swords, I think of, uh, Skyward Sword. And oh, yeah. Thieves. A robot that lives inside a sword. Fair enough. Yeah, so the sword doesn't really talk again. I think maybe one more cutscene, but like it's just this one. Oh, it's by your side. Yeah, it, it's um. Oh, come on, look at that. The the blade handle that, just vanishes ooh. after a bit. That is awesome. Yeah. Yep. So he's replaceable with any of the others. Uh, he doesn't. He only talks for this. Uh, and then just never really talks again. I mean, he's powerful, oh, but, cool. but like some of the latter weapons are even stronger. Oh, uh, that reminds me of the uh, Sanity Not Included episode uh, with that was like commentary on WoW DLC, where it's like th there was a, you remember Sanity Not Included, right? No, it was an old Machinima series, uh, um, and. It had, it was a Machinima series. So, oh, go ahead and talk. Okay, I was, I was waiting for you to finish, but okay. Well, 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 this is one fine turn of events. Nowls and swamps don't mix. Neither do I. You have ten seconds to explain why I'm here. What, Jack, have you no faith in your trusty, reliable companion? Eight, seven, six... Five. Jack, I'm your superior, and you will treat me with respect. Four, three, two. All right, all right. You know this for your rambunctious little twerp. 
I've been following the magical energy of the portal the wizard casts. The magic led us here on the trail straight to the swamp, and it ends here. Perhaps there's some clues to his destination further in. There! Was that so hard? <laughs> Unbearably. Now shut up. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Standing Not Included was a, a, a sketch comedy machinima series. You know, they just go into, uh... They just go into a game, dick around with like, kind of like the stuff that uh, 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 two best friends did uh, back when they were in Machinima. That's fair. Uh, so one of the episodes, the funniest episode, was a character in WoW getting like a, a sword, but not having the stats to be able to use it. And the sword is like extremely evil, like kill that sheep kill the dog kill your family and i will make you the strongest thing ever and like does it like becomes like the like a big bad and then uh it's like yes we will rule the world to get and then the guy's like oh hey uh new dlc oh man this sword's got way better stats and he tosses the old one in a well oh that that's brutal <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. So this sword's pretty good, but, like, I'm going to find, like, some sort of rapid-fire magic death beam later. Oh, nice. So, so this guy this guy talks a bit, but, like, he he kind of f fades out real quick at this level. Yeah. Which is a shame, because, like, I think it's, like, a, the curse of, like, having an expendable weapon every episode. Every level? Yeah. So, so yeah. like, occasionally <laughs> one is just going to be, like, cool, but then, like unnecessary yeah at least like i said with death's door at least like they had tangible differences in speed power and uh even combo abilities yeah i mean like these aren't like indistinguishable weapons there is at least some degree of like difference in each but like at a but point not enough to make it count <laughs> nah it, it, there is never enough that makes it like a unique circumstance with each yeah I, I completely understand that. Like even the shotgun you you get is still like a not a as melee good as what comes it's, back. it's a melee weapon. It's a melee. Well, I guess that makes sense. Is it a shot sawed off shoddy? Uh, it's a blunderbuss. Whoa, shoot! Oh, jeez, you're almost dead. Please don't die. You're supposed to beat this game without dying. Just ah, that fuck! Ah, ah. So the great Jack has fallen one time. Ah, uh, big rip. Yeah, I do like the logo, though. Oh, absolutely. I'm always a fan of crows. Yeah, this is where I they like... start throwing hordes at you. Yeah. God, hordes are terrifying. You get an A for effort, but your form is atrocious. You get an A for atrocious. Uh, I'm always a big fan of swamp levels. First skeleton have ghosts and now wood has ghosts? Ugh. I love that idea. Well, yeah. I mean, what do you expect comes from Deadwood? Huh. Who is that? Well, 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 a new face. Always a pleasant surprise to meet some new friends around here. Who are you supposed to be? Why, I'm a local merchant. My name is... I haven't asked for your name, and I don't plan on caring. Hello, um, Jack. All right, well then, who are you? My name is Jack. I'm tracking a lonesome little wizard into this swamp. Did you say Jack, as in the Jack? He's probably going to think you're Jack the Ripper. That depends. Which Jack you mean? The Jack who tricked the devil himself oh. not once, not twice, but three times. Hmm, most people leave out the third time. Yes, old timer, I am THE Jack. Oh, joyous days, hooray, she'll be so happy. What are you talking about, you old coot? Oh, oh, nothing, really. I just have something to attend to around here. Please find me again along the way. I believe I can help you. Ooh. Very well, anything for a fan. 
Is the she going to be the wife of the giant that he killed? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, I do, because I played to the last level yeah. and just sort of gave up after a bit. But Oh, God. I almost died. <laughs> Nothing kills me faster than water in this game. Oof. That's rough, buddy. Am I the other one who doesn't trust the guy? I don't know. Maybe I don't trust him either. Uh... God, I, I I think Netflix hire me. I'll, I'll write a Jack uh, a mini series. Well, if, 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 you, if you write it, I things. think you can sell it to Netflix, which is the thing. Yeah, I don't know how the Netflix process. I goes. believe you write it and then you can send it to them, and they'll and they usually approve of anything. That that's the uh, joke. You just have to write it first. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to welcome to Netflix. You're greenlit. How can I help you? God. Uh, yeah. I've been watching uh, Inside Job. Great show, by the way. Uh, yes, we talked about that yesterday. And they, and they make a joke about Netflix, where it's like uh, she talk, she makes a robot uh, boyfriend, the, the main character Reagan, and she's ex and she's like, it has two settings: Netflix and Netflix and chill. <laughs> Yes, you said that yesterday. Oh, fair enough. On stream. Uh, I, I do love the aesthetic of this uh, dead wood right here. Nope, 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 nope. Dang it. But you oh, can't make an omelet without breaking two eggs. <laughs> oh, I'm going to love this. <sighs> it, it cycles after a while. Uh, well, obviously. No. Oh. Three failures wow. of Jack on the wall, three failures of Jack. That one jump. Uh, yeah, I know that feel. Remember when I played Banjo Kazooie and I didn't die until we got to Rusty Bucket Bay, and specifically the bottomless pit? And then I died a shit ton. That's fair. Everybody has to die sometime. Yeah. Some people sooner than others. Some people more times than others. Death is an inevitability of life. One of my favorite comics is the uh, one where it's the uh, life sends death little presents and death oh, yeah. takes them forever. And yeah, it, <laughs> it's like <laughs> chicken with shoes. I, I love that one where it's like it's, I do it, it builds. It's it's the same concept. It's the same joke and the same build up, and then they just reverse it. Like, oh yeah, it's the chicken with the shoes. Yeah, I fucking love that one. That's the uh, series that isn't that the same artist who ended up drawing like death as a way to make uh uh, uh to point people towards charities to help save uh endangered animals different artists i think oh. but definitely the same general vibe oh, okay they did a they did one about shark uh, fin soup that was pretty messed up oh yeah i think the one that like fucked me up the most was the uh one about the bird um the one it was like i keep feeding you but you're not getting better and it's feeding like uh uh cigarette butts and stuff like uh oh because like, that... apparently a lot of people don't consider cigarette butts to be litter mm. and it is really bad because birds can't tell that it's not food exactly Oof. Uh, the one that it really messed like me up is the one that looked like a, uh, that, that was about a, a puppy. And they, they dumped the puppy off at, like, the roadway when the, um, when the kid got tired of the dog. Oh, it's always sad whenever, yeah. uh... Ah, Jack, oh. there you are. I'm glad we met again. I want to tell you about my wife. My wife? I don't care much about you. Why would I care about your wife? She idolized you for centuries. She's your biggest fan. Do go on. We've been married for 343 years, but she's always adored your tales. 
We spent many a night discussing your feats of malice and trickery. She's a powerful witch, and I am out here collecting ingredients for her greatest concoction. A witch from whom I could use her. This wizard is powerful and smart. I need her information. I'm sure she'd love to help, but I need to get her ingredients first. If you let me find the mushroom she needs, I'll take you to her. Why well, must I pick up your errands? Why can't you just tell me where she is? Only my horse can take you to her. Find the mushrooms and you can ride him. Stupid fluck contrivances. Fine, I'll fetch the stupid <laughs> mushrooms. Much obliged. I'll stay right here and wait for your return. Why not just steal the horse? It's a ghost horse. I just fall right through. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of ghost horses. Ghost horses are very cool. Ooh, cutscene. Yeah, they, they do. They, it's to show me where I need to go. Down the winding road, past the swinging logs, down, down to the magic mushroom. Oh, I need to pick up these spores to make uh to counteract the. Venom toxin. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yippee ki yay! Get along, little what doggy. <laughs> Yippee ki yay! What is this? A Christmas game? Ironically, I do get to fight Santa. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's that's the final area, Santa's workshop. Interesting. I hate the noises it makes, but not in a bad way. Fair enough. It is very it, icky. Yes. The noises make me uncomfortable, and I think that's what they were going for, so good job. I do like me some icky noises. No! Dang it. Ah, uh, at least you didn't land in the water. Yeah. Oh, Could have been a lot worse. So how many levels are in this game? Uh, only about six, I believe. Six, and what, we're on level three? I believe so. There might be closer to seven or eight, though. I don't recall. I haven't played in a year. I can check. Uh, six. Okay, yeah, I figured. Yeah, we're halfway done. We could probably beat this in a, a two streams total. That could be fun. That is really an icky little squishing noise. I'm trying to imagine worse noises. Oh, God. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Marvel is delaying all their movies that are planned to come out because of the, uh, uh, b because of the, uh, strike. Which strike? The writer's uh, strike? No, no, no. Uh, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television. Okay, yeah, that strike. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, wait, hold on. The... Yes, the Alliance of Motion Pictures and Television producers uh, was going to do an industry-wide strike if uh, Hollywood didn't change their working conditions because of how it like inhumane they are okay i'm gonna do this again one two green three. green green one two, red 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 yellow oh, there we go one two three simon oh really beethoven you're not gonna do hollow the mountain king I do this like three more times, so they change it up every time. Okay. I think one they... of them better be Hall of the Mountain King. Probably would not be surprised. <laughs> Hall of the Mountain King is like the peak Halloween song. Just perfect, Jack. Bring it to me now. Through the portal, you could just... Jack. I'm guessing this is the wizard. 
and he's tricking you. He's fucking with me? <laughs> yeah. Aha! This is superb! I haven't seen a mushroom this well grown in decades. Thank you, Jack. Truly your legend doesn't live up to your glory. Yes, yes, I know I'm amazing. Now make with the horse. Oh, certainly, he knows the way well. Just hop on and ride away. Guess what this is. So now you can... Oh, it's basically the cart? Yeah, it's the cart. But I can move left and right a bit more. Okay, I think that's cool. A bit of variety. So the cart kept you on a track so you'd be aware of, like, how to, like, do it. And then they add on to it by letting you move a bit more freely. Yep. They, they, do, they do this, I'm, like, really well. I'm going to guess the next one is going to be having you flying somewhere and you can also move up and down. Maybe. I don't recall that much. The game I, sort I'm of blends just... together after a while. Yeah, that's fair. I do love that they, they let me, like, fly like this. Do you get to seal a reindeer in Santa's workshop? Probably not. Wait, how's that guy gonna get back to his wife, though? He teleports. But he just... Mm. Why didn't he just teleport to the mushroom? Why didn't he? Mm-hmm. I do love the music here. It's, it's actually well done. Oh, yeah. It's very, um... Spyro-esque. Uh, you know what old, uh myth i want to say it was uh, i i want to say it was like oh wow a finish line <laughs> yeehaw <laughs> yeehaw God yeah. damn it. uh so basically this guy uh, this king has a party for his birthday and invites the uh pr the the dwarven uh the king of the dwarves to attend and the party lasts three days the Dorvin uh, king, in return, invites him to uh, a party in the Dorvin kingdom, which lasts three days. And whenever the guy, the king and his party, uh, the king and his posse, leave the Dorvin kingdom, they're told not to se uh, set foot off their horse until they're uh, uh, until they return home. And when they come out, they find that three it's not three days that have passed, it's 300 years that have passed. And their home had since been conquered. Mm, one I... of the, uh, one of the king's posse steps off their horse to try to, like, rush in and, uh, uh, and, like, find out what happened, and immediately all the 300 years hits him at once, and he uh, rapidly ages to death. So now the uh, uh, king and the remaining members of his uh, posse are uh, forever riding in the forest, um, unable to age, and uh, fearing death too much to get off their horse and uh, let time take them. That is kind of spooky. Wow. That dw that dwarf king is kind of a dick. Well, he probably didn't know it. This is the, I think it was like the kind of uh, mythology where dwarves are considered fey. Mm. I think the thing that really bugs me is the fact that the dwarf probably... The dude did the dwarf king a favor like by throwing like a really gnarly party. And the dwarf king is like, okay, come to my house for like three days. And didn't warn him, oh, by the way, uh, by partying with me for three days, you're probably going to be gone for like a hundred years or so. Uh, like I said, it, it's one of those stories where dwarves are considered like fey folk and like so they didn't. So he probably didn't realize that it was uh, gonna be like that long. Probably didn't realize that humans can't live hundreds of years. Well, he did warn them not to uh, get off their horses, so he clearly knew they don't live three hundred years. <laughs> Jack, there you are, my friend. Take it easy, fanboy. What do you want now? Well, you remember that mushroom you found for me? It's perfect. Don't get me wrong. It's just. Not enough. Oh god, Ten, we do need to get nine, more spores. Eight. Now wait a second, oh great Jack. I just need one more mushroom, then I'll show you straight to my wife. 
You can even use my horse again. My wife. Well, what do you say, Jack? Can you help out a fool who's just trying to be the husband the love of his life deserves? Fine, but this is the last one. Don't think I won't cut you apart. Yeah, I got a magical sword just for this occasion. The, the sword's shut up by now. Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah, that dis that's disappointing. Sword oh, you're going to have to hit it from a oh, distance with the bird. Can I? Oh, no, what I do is... Ah... Uh... Oh, that's clever. I that is clever. Yeehaw to the top. Yeehaw, yeehaw. Man, I hate when games like introduce a character and then they become immediately useless. Oh, there we go. That's irrelevant. what I'm looking for. New weapon? No. Oh, new gramophone. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. There we go. I made it. Just in time. New dance. No, it's the same dance. I no, think. it's not. That's a new dance, yeah. Use that dance. Okay, that's a little shorter. EPK A. <laughs> oh man, I should watch Die Hard again. I, the last time I saw I... Die Hard was uh, was at a Christmas party, I think. Yeah, it had Alan Rickman in it. It was one of his best films. Oh yeah, it's. I think that was the movie that really introduced him to the to America. Probably. I think before that he had only been in the BBC uh, uh, Shakespeare. No uh, surprise. I miss Alan Rickman. He was such a great actor. Oh, here's something that I always thought was kind of funny. So, okay, so this is probably like a pattern. I got to figure out the right one. Uh. So when, so you you know Star Trek, uh, Next Generation, right? Yeah. So the actor for Geordie LaForge was more famous than the actor for uh, Picard. Yeah, because so, he was on Radiant Rainbow. Yeah. yeah. So a lot. So when like uh, Star Trek was announced with Next Generation and its cast, a lot of news uh, sources said that he was the captain, <laughs> rather yeah, than that Picard. They were like, oh, Geordie LaForge. Uh, God, what, what's his name? God. Uh, uh, it, it's Phil Lamar, right? Phil Lamar, yeah. Is it Phil Lamar? Maybe, I think so. So, Phil uh, Lamar. Oh. No, no, it's it, it's not. God, Shit, man. we always get them confused because they're both such amazing actors. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, one, two, one, two, one. Dang, dang. LeVar Burton. LeVar yeah, Burton, always, yeah. Yeah, we always get them confused because Lamar and LeVar sound the same, and uh, and so it's easy to get their names confused. Okay, I fucked that up. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. There we go. Song is it gonna be now? Eh. Another Beethoven. Fair enough. I think that's just because he's a lot of Beethoven's works are uh, public domain by now. That's fair. Aren't box uh, stuff public domain? I don't know. Is I, I, think, I think it should domain? be, but um. You would think so, but there's been weird stuff with that. Like Okay, uh, so they're not yeah, they're not in public domain yet. Wild. I am familiar with that stuff like uh Peter Pan is partially in public domain, but also not. It's weird. Another mycelium brilliant Jack. Alright, are we done with your little shopping list now? Yes, yeah, certainly, the horse is yours. Take him as far as he'll go and keep going after. I guess you don't get a lot of company over if that's how you give people directions. Uh, I do like the get on the horse animation. You remember that episode of Star Trek The Next Generation where 
LaForge use the holodeck to make a hologram copy of one of the crewmates to date? And then she found out? You might be thinking about a different one, because there's an another episode where a guy uh, uses the holodeck to create like uh, versions of the cast and crew in different versions to express his insecurities about himself. You know, I think Moriarty is my favorite character in Next Generation. The the hologram Moriarty. Oh, uh, yes, that, I remember. <laughs> yeah, he was given self-awareness because uh, LaForge uh, Data. accidentally said... No, no, LaForge is oh. the one that set it up. He, he said, uh, computer, create a Sherlock Holmes mystery uh, that is uh, uh, smart enough to uh stump data data and yeah same thing just call him and, data uh, yeah, that's, just, that's, like, that's like saying gif but we're anywho, not peanut butter here we're not peanut butter <laughs> anywho the fact that he said uh that name instead of sherlock holmes is why the computer gave sentience and, and, like self-awareness to hologram moriarty uh, because enough. it was specifically to outsmart the robot, not the detective. That's fair. I, I do like that Data admits his own failings at the end. So oh, absolutely. I, I've been outwitted, and it's down to uh, Picard to take care of it, because yeah, as, as, as smart as create... Data is, he's he still loses every time to uh, Picard. Yeah, he, uh, he basically has to... At first, he just agrees that, hey, Moriarty, we can put you in basically a flash drive, and you can wait in there, no time will pass for you, and we'll try to figure out how to bring you into the real world. Do you agree to that? And Moriarty was like, eh, hey, yeah, sure. And then Moriarty made a return when uh, someone was running, uh, like, diagnostics on the holodeck and accidentally summoned Moriarty, you know, and Moriarty was like, hey, has Picard finally figured out how to uh, uh, make me a real boy? And they're like, wait, who are you? They're like, oh, I'm Moriarty. Picard said he was going to help me help figure out how to make hologram people, like, real. And they were like, yeah, there's been no study on that. And Moriarty was pissed. And uh... they, ended up, they ended up having to, you're probably going to have to make a... Uh, a thing. I'm gonna have to go in uh, the reverse. Yeah, Moriarty was pissed, and uh, the solution they did was end up making a hologram scen uh, scenario in which they basically make a holodeck version of the holodeck and the rest of the Enterprise and teleport him out of the holodeck holodeck into the holodeck uh, Enterprise mm. so that he thinks he got out and then they uh basically program it to constantly run in the background and have it be like giving him a life that he believes is real which oh is kind god of dang up. it what i hate this what you missed one no no I mean, i'm still not done with the level i forgot I have to do i have to deal with this dude oh karen ah you ah, want to voice this one you, you can voice this yeah. one ah you must be Jack. How do you know my name, you overrated gondolier? Word travels fast around here. I've been paid in advance to take you to the witch, but I still accept it. First flying horses and now penny grubbing ferrymen. What's next? You're playing all you want, but I'm your only way to where you're headed. All right, fine. I could use the rest. A nice, calm boat ride sounds pretty good to me. Who said anything about calm or nice? You're about to see why I hate this part. <laughs> Is it uh, uh, waves of enemies attack you on the boat? <sighs> yes. God damn it. They did this thing in Ocarina of Time as well, but at least it was... At least you didn't actually have to fight them. You just had to survive long enough to hook shot to the. Uh, oh, end. this guy also fucks with you by swapping boats. Oh, what a dick! 
Oh man, I love the music. Oh, the music in this game is like very fun. Very Halloween. It's so hard to make good Halloween sounding music. Like there's a certain vibe to Halloween music that is difficult to replicate. Just you wait, this guy's gonna start flipping the boat. There we go. Don't rock the boat. God. What an asshole. Oh, and it's going to start fading through stuff, too. Watch this. The magic boat. What did you expect? Oh, I see. Yeah, just, just to really yank my gourd. <laughs> Took me a moment to realize what you just said. Uh -huh. Oh, and now there's enemies on the things you have to jump over. Yeah. I'm a big fan You've of You've got swamp company housing. off the starboard. I do love swamp areas. Yeah, Luda Vince had a good one. Yeah. Luda Vince is great. I legitimately wish I didn't play it now so that I could have done it for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the folly of youth. Oh, see, God, I'll done. see you again soon enough. Jesus Christ, where is it? Oh, I see. He moves slow enough during these sections he can catch up, but it's still a bit of just... Yeah. <sighs> I do love Jack Design, though. He's got like, the sort of the hangman look going on. Yeah, I like the noose tie. You know, uh, the Scarecrow in one of the Batman series, one of the animated Batman series, I don't remember which. I think uh, it was the latter war. season. Okay. It was the... Uh... No, I think it was the Batman. Let me double check. He just called me a jerk for not tipping. Oh. Well, yeah, he always tip the Uber. Because they don't, and make sure it's in cash. Because if you tip Uber in, uh, mm. hmm. you mean cash? I didn't know that. No, oh, tip it. No, always tip in cash because they don't make it if you just tip on like the receipt. Mm. You, you know, if you tip with your card, they don't receive that. They're docked the, uh, they're docked from their hourly, uh, the equivalent of how much you tip. So they basically don't receive they don't receive their tips, but also Uber gets away with it by exploiting a loophole. Oof. What is it now, bird? The forest. Now I can't describe it, but it's strange. I can sense the witch's magic. She's not too far from here. Mm, but watch your step. Something tells me this force is dangerous if you don't know the way. If you're not careful, one wrong step could be the end of you. But you can tell all that, but you can't tell me how to get through safely? It's called co plot contrivances. Don't dwell on it. Just get going. And I wish I could help you, but this is the end of it for me. What happens when the crow eats your trail of breadcrumbs? The crow be... Crows become the breadcrumbs. So follow the crows? No. Nope. Dang it. Apparently all, not. All. Okay, it was the new bat. Oh, it was season four, really? Yeah. Season four had the good scarecrow. God. Okay, season so four of Batman uh, animated had some of the worst design choices. Well, some of them are good. Some of them aren't. Yeah, yeah, just, just to fuck with me, they uh, the the crows kill me. So go where there are no crows. Yeah, which is very frustrating because the way they chose to write, write the dialogue is like, oh, what happens when like the crows eat your breadcrumbs? Oh, okay. It's.
No. Yeah, I took a hit on there. Did I ask for directions? <laughs> Dang it! I didn't see that crow. Uh. The curse has been broken five times. Dang. <sighs> Doing so well until this one level. I mean, you weren't. I was doing great. How dare you? More than half your deaths were from the previous level. No. I did great in the previous level. It's this level. You. Oh it's, wait, it's yeah, the swamp. Got... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I. I. For some reason, I thought the levels you you had been on a different level. So, yeah. No. You. You were. This is terrible. a pretty lengthy level, so it's. Um... It, it's forward. Yeah. Making sure. Nope. Nope. Forward. Nope. Oh, I just went in reverse. Oh, wait. Oh. I just went what? in reverse, dang it. Well, now you know where to go. Just do the same thing, but backwards. I wonder who set up these, uh, spike. Who knows? Oh, that reminds me. The the Cowboy Bebop uh, live action trailer came out recently. Oh, does it look any good? It looks okay. Uh, it's very stylish. What they do is they play with uh, the borders of like the screen, like comic panels, you know. Nope, neither of those this way. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be like true of the actual series itself when it comes out, but it's definitely cool for the trailer. Is it a mini series? I think it's going to be a Netflix series, so it could be a mini series. I call it the la the lost seasons, so it could very well be a case of like uh soft, there we are. Soft sequels? Probably. Not much further, Jack. She can hardly wait to meet you. Oh. Uh, Motherfucker. Well, that's probably like some kind of checkpoint then. God. Oh yeah, the sword speaks to me briefly. Oh, Danny Elfin did the uh, music for Fable Two. No surprise there. I can actually believe that Fable Two is a real banger of a soundtrack. Absolutely. I was just surprised since I didn't really. I I know Danny Elfin for like, uh, a high budget movie music. You know, he also did the soundtrack for, um... God, it's a detective movie. Sherlock Holmes? No, it's a different one. Oh, Who's Dick Tracy. That? It's Dick Tracy. Oh. He did the soundtrack for Dick Tracy, like, the same year he did the soundtrack for Batman. Yeah, so, oh, wow. there's, there's rumors he caught corners. <laughs> It just used the same music for both? It used the same light motif for both. So they sound very uh, similar if you listen very closely. That's fair. <laughs> Jack! The great Jack is back! No, I'm such a big fan. No, oh, look at me, I'm starstruck. Finally, someone who appreciates my hard Ford legacy. I've been told you might have some information about someone I need to find. Oh, you mean the wizard? The human champion? Of course, word travels fast, you know. Yes, I've heard that he's along the yellow brick road. Where is it? <laughs> well, it starts where my sister was crushed by a house. So I've been told, so what can you tell me? Perhaps you'd like to know his name. There's great power in the name. His name? Yes, tell me his name. Yes, Jack, anything for a legend like you. Now listen closely. The wizard's name is... 
Yoink. 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 What kind of name is Yoink? No, no. You're not saying right. It's more like Yoink. Oh God. I just got betrayed. Oh no! Who could have seen this coming? She's the fangirl, so she's going to kidnap you forever. Yoink! Hey, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, I'm sorry, Jack, but after all, this one, it, it is one of yours. My own ploy is used against me. Well played, you harpy. Don't forget my part in all of this, Jack. Hey, Sean, you're sounding really desperate. Put me back right now. They're afraid I can't do that, Jack. I'm cooking up something special and magical in you just by need to put it all together. We should go, dear, before we miss our time. Right away, right away. This is hor- oh, This is you. This is- This is hor- Wait, hold on. Um, this is horrible. What are we gonna do now? Well, we're going to get Jack back before they hollow out his noggin. Even more. Oh, but how? Well, you know, Jack can hop in and out of his body, right? Y yes? Well, hop in. Yeah, I think I need to throw up first. We better head off now. <laughs> Ta -ta! You should have stopped while you were ahead, Jack. Pumpkin is perfect. It's the last ingredient I need for my pumpkin goat cheese soup. Well, they just move the bird over the uh, the head of the the body. So. Hey, Jack. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom Ooh. real quick while Ooh. you do this. Ooh, okay. They're attacking me with lasers. Dang it. I love this song. This is legitimately one of the the stupidest songs in the world, <laughs> but it's enjoyable. Stupid. Yeah, it's better than ninety nine bottles of rum on the wall. Ninety nine bottles of rum on the wall. Ninety nine bottles of rum. <laughs> I, I, I I oh dang it. Alright, you ah, back? So we finally have some guests come to visit. Did you show up just in time? <laughs> yes. And all it took was a small act of kidnapping. Give back the pump give back the pumpkin now. Uh whatever we can spell you're working on, we'll stop it. A spell? What spell? Well, the spell you know, mushrooms, cauldron. Possess pumpkin? Oh, you stupid bird. This isn't a spell. It's our dinner. I told you, it's pumpkin goat cheese stew. Your dinner? And of course, we're vegans. It's a magic mushroom <laughs> stew. And why eat meat? This is hardly cruelty free. Well, no, but pumpkins are real superfood, especially possessed ones. You know how hard it is to get souls in a vegan diet? You don't count. Ugh, you're both insane! I may be a coward, but I'm taking Jack back. I'm taking Jack Black. You don't want to stay for dinner? No, well then, you'll be a fine centerpiece for our spread. Don't scuff up my body, bird, I just got that thing. Eh? Two levels ago. It oh my god, exciting. I love that. It's eyeballs. 
Oh. Oh, you gotta toss that into the eyes. Yep. Oh god. This looks awful, I love it. I mean awful as in it's horrifying, not awful as in bad. It looks yep. beautiful. I do love the, the idea of like having to shoot these things back at the uh, eyeballs. Oh yeah, it's very Zelda-esque. I, I absolutely, I really do like this game. Like, it's just very well designed. I, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, what? The fight against Snatcher. From Hat in Time? Yes, I can get that. Oh, shoot. Hat in Time had a really good Halloween level. Yeah, the, the forest is pretty good. I, I'm actually kind of sad they haven't come out with any more DLC for that lately. Yeah. By the way, this music is great. Admittedly, I wasn't all that happy with the, um... I like the Nyakuza. No, no, I wasn't really happy with the, uh, Death Wish mode. Oh, Because I'm not yeah. very good at it. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, hey, he's... Oh, hey, you got two for one. Yeah. I do really like the Nyakuza level. That's that's good. But that's probably my favorite level in the game. Yeah. We should play Hat in Time. That, that would be fun, yeah. On... Yeah, we can play together on stream at some point. I wonder if they have like two player um co op on like different computers by now. I mean they do. Remember we played it. Oh they have like an online lobby mode with like up to 30 people, but that's not the same because I want to play Bow Kid. Uh, I mean, you can always get a mod for that. Fair enough. I think they let you pick now, so. There we go, two for one. Boom, I win! <laughs> so have you seen that they just don't fight back? They just run. Yeah, I like that. Oh, new weapon. Nice. It's a blunderbuss. It looks like a Tommy gun. It's a blunderbuss. What a misstep. In their hubris to hunt down <sighs> Jack and his avian accomplices followed me. So what uh so they said that they used Jack's own trick to seal his head. What trick was that? Uh they distracted him. Mm. They distract him and get him to say like a funny name so he's not paying attention when they swipe his head from behind. Right, and which uh I don't know. Thing? I'm not familiar with the uh Stingy Jack legend that much. I, I do like that in the cutscene they make it look like the crow is guiding the head rather than the other way around. Yeah. Rather than like controlling it himself. They hurry to follow the sound of cannons and gunfire to find the city at war. Oh, finally I get to start killing humans. Nice. Okay, so here it is. Here's the blunderbuss. Boom. Yeah, so you can, as you can tell, it's a shotgun. It's got pretty decent. You're basically, range. you're basically Halloween Reaper. Yeah, fair enough. Well, if it isn't Jack, how nice to see you again. I'd say the feeling is mutual, but you're a rotten little jerk. Lovely. I so enjoy our talks, but I'll make do without them. This is the end for you, Jack. You're in human territory now, and I might not be able to stop you with monsters, but I can give you hell from my own kind. They're still useful like that. You're a sick, sadistic maniac. If we'd met when I was alive, I, you might have been my best friend. And you, my best test subject. But here in the real world, I'm far past the need. You rely on that troublesome crow, so I'll take the liberty of creating a shield spell for my men. Your little friend will be powerless to hurt them now. If you want to kill my men, you'll have to get in nice and close yourself. 
So why are you telling me this? For the sake of observation, watching you kill my men will give me very useful data. Oh my gosh, it's Taskmaster. By the time we cross arms, I will know your every move. Until then, Jack. Ta-ta. Okay, so I think this might be the end of our stream. How, how long have we been playing? Uh, let me double check. Uh, this would be a good place to stop. Uh, also, you forgot to change the description of... Oh, God damn it! Again? Yeah, it's... It, we've been playing for uh, two hours... Two and a half... Two hours and half a minute. Mm. So, yeah, this would be a great place to stop. Yeah, the levels are kind of long, so... Okay, I'm actually... I'm gonna go back to the main menu. Yeah. And I'm All gonna right. buy a new costume. <laughs> and then we're gonna oh, quit. Do you have 40? I have more than 40. Oh, nice. Kin selection. See, I can buy the buzzard. I have 52 yeah. of them now. Do it. See? Oh my god, I love that. I can buy one more. Um, uh, save up. You can save up for the skeleton. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah. I want to thank everyone for uh, coming. This is this is a fun little game. I highly leave... recommend it for anybody who wants to play like a Halloween game. Yes. Uh, leave in the comments what your Halloween skin would be if you were a game character. Mine would be uh, Dio de los Muertos. Oh, that's that's a good one. Um... I love I love the neon and the fancy and the cool painting, like. Uh, I, I would definitely be uh, a, a neon possum with... Because uh, possums glow under a black light. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Just like platypus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, check out some of the other Let's Plays, um, such as Batman or any of the other Halloween one-offs that uh, Scraps has been doing, or either of the uh, D&D campaigns. By now, my uh, Halloween one-shot would be up on uh, YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, then it'll be up on Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out all the other stuff, and like and subscribe if you, uh, you want to see more. Uh, with that out of the way, there's nothing left to say, but, uh, good night, everybody! Good night, everybody! And scene.